Um, I am Susan Harvey. I work with Ashley Capital, the developer of this site. We are thrilled to be starting our new building. Uh, construction site activities, as you can see, have already started. When completed, this first building will be about 330,000 square feet. We expect it to be done in the first quarter of 2024. And from there, we will move on. The site is uh, 350 acres in total. Phase one is this first building. Phase two will be to take down about another 270 acres and start construction on the rest. When done, in total, the current plan has us building about three and a half million square feet on this site. I have been with Ashley Capital uh, 27 years, and we've done a lot of really fun, interesting projects. I've had the pleasure to work for Rick Morton, the principal sitting here with us today. But in all my years and all the projects we've done, I'm more excited about this project in Flint at this time in history than any other project um, that I've been involved in. So in its heyday, Buick City employed about 28 to 30,000 people. Over time, they moved away from the site and it's been sitting vacant for a, over 20 years. The Racer Trust took ownership of the site in the, uh, the GM bankruptcy, and they have been doing a wonderful job, not only cleaning up contamination, but their mandate is twofold to do that, as well as to make sure that it ends up in the hands of a developer that's gonna actually do something with the site, not just sit on it and hope something comes. So with that in mind, I want to thank very much all of the important people that are here today. This project is made possible because of the sp support we have from the Flint community, Genesee County, the state of Michigan, the Mott Foundation. The city council people have been instrumental in making all of this happen. And we have just so many important people here today. If I try to name everybody, I know I will not succeed so I'm going to avoid that pitfall because I'm not good at it. Um, but to start uh, the remarks today I have the honor of introducing the 49th governor of the state of Michigan, Governor Whitmer. Well, thank you. I'm so thrilled to be here with all of you and I just left a big announcement over at GM. Um, a almost billion dollar investment in this area. So like things are happening in Flint and they don't just happen, right? They happen because a lot of people are working hard, working together, rolling up their sleeves and, and partnership is what it's all about. So I'm thrilled to be here with all of you celebrating the largest investment in the north side of Flint in decades. Until 2010, this was Buick City. But after the facility was shut down, this area became unusable. And now, thanks to the collaboration between state and local government, private sector partners, new life is being breathed into this part of the city. The brand new Flint Commerce Center offers prospective businesses three and a half million square feet of light industrial distribution space. It'll lower the cost of expanding or relocating to Michigan and to grow our economy. And what it means to this community is clear. $300 million of investment and up to 3,000 jobs being created right here in Flint. Flint Commerce Center is a transformational project that will revitalize the community, bring more families and businesses to the north side. There are projects just like this happening across Michigan and many more in Flint alone. There is the new co-op grocery store coming to the north side where there's currently a food desert. It'll be an economic oasis offering healthy, affordable food for residents and creating dozens of good paying jobs. There's a new YMCA in Flint that will include 50 apartments, office space and recreation facility for families. Another grant supporting Clark Commons, a housing development right near downtown and connecting a former railroad line with the Grand Traverse Greenway Trail. In downtown Grand Blank, there's going to be a new mixed use building, the garden building with a restaurant, events venue and office space. So there's so many exciting projects that are happening in the region. Um, I know that there's often it has felt counted out and, and 
down on hard luck, but here we are to show we are tough, we are moving forward, and we're creating real opportunity for people in Flint. There's so many exciting projects. So secure, we just recently secured a new facility from semiconductor wafer manufacturer SK Siltron, creating good paying jobs and being, uh, bringing a piece of the global supply chain home to Michigan. Michigan Sugar announced $65 million investment in the area two years ago, boosting their capacity. GM made $216 million investment to support the future production at Flint Engine Operations. ACI Plastics announced $10 million investment last month, creating dozens of jobs at their new state-of-the-art plastic recycling facility. And just a few weeks ago, Flint MTA announced they were switching out their last two diesel buses for ones powered by hydrogen. So far ahead of the curve, I think even people in Flint don't realize what a big deal that is. Our economic development efforts are working. Um, to help us keep moving forward, last week we announced Make It in Michigan. It's a framework to help us secure economic projects, invest in people, and revitalizing place. This comprehensive vision for our future will bring together so much of the great work we're doing together and drive us toward a common goal, a Michigan where every person has a path to prosperity. There's a lot of momentum right here in Flint and um, we're just getting started. These record investments are crucial. They're life changing. And so I wanna acknowledge the important work that you have done, the important work that the community has done, and the important partnership that we have um, been able to do together. Michiganders don't quit. And we never quit on each other and we don't quit on the state. We're turning former factories into new spaces for business. We're tearing down abandoned or blighted buildings, revitalizing small towns and big cities, building new apartments and commercial spaces, creating and supporting tens of thousands of jobs along the way. So we build and we rebuild. We believe in our future, we work together, we roll up our sleeves, and we find a space for everyone. So I thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time this morning. I'm excited about this most recent project here and I look forward to what's on the horizon because it's only looking brighter and stronger for the people in this part of our state, but for people all across Michigan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I now would like to introduce another very important person for the state of Michigan, this part of the state, the city of Flint, uh, representing us on the national stage, uh, Representative Kildee. Thank you so much. I too was at the earlier announcement and this is the kind of event we love to do right here. Um, this is personal for me, by the way. I mentioned it earlier, but this is particularly personal for me. So a hundred years ago, simultaneously, a group of entrepreneurs invested in this community, decided that the power of their great idea was going to put the world on wheels and we were going to be a part of that. And we have been ever since. They believed in themselves, they believed in their ideas, they believed in their community, and they invested their time, their effort, their capital to see that vision come to fruition, to reality. Simultaneously, my grandparents, my grandfather, Tim Kildee, was a lumberjack living in Buckley, Michigan with my grandmother, Norma. And they came to Flint. They moved on to Jane Avenue, and for his entire career, my grandfather walked from that house to this space right here to go to work and be part of that history. I say that because that's not really history. This is a common thread. This is a through line. The same thing's happening here. A group of people with the power of a good idea are willing to invest their time, their energy, their capital to give the same opportunity to future families that the Kildee family was given a hundred years ago. I wouldn't be here had that not taken place. And just imagine what the future looks like for those families that will benefit from the investment that's taking place that we're announcing that we're celebrating right here. This is no small moment. It's a really big thing. And it's particularly important for our community. 
I'm a Flintstone. I'm a Flint kid. We have been through a lot. And it is so good to be able to stand here and not talk about those tough times. Although we do deal with them, we address them, we don't ignore them. But to celebrate the fact that we have partners and a community that's willing to work together to create our own future. This is really a powerful moment and I'm really proud of everybody involved in it and proud that you've given me a chance to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, and now I would like to introduce um, one of the key people and partners that we've been dealing with that's making all this possible, uh, the Mayor of Flint, Mayor Neely. Good morning. You know, it's another great day God has gathered us for another great announcement. You know, rounding out about $2 billion of investment in this community within a year's time. I want to thank our governor you know, for her vision for the region of the city of Flint in this area to make sure that we have a corrective measurement uh, as we move forward. Celebrating the dreamer, celebrating the dreamer. You know, we inherit the world from our parents, our mothers and our fathers. And we have a duty and a responsibility to give it to our kids in better condition than we found it. You know, when we talk about David Dunbar Buick, they had an idea and had a vision, he had a dream. James Whiting, and then Billy Durant, the creation of General Motors. And as we make a transition and in moving into the future, we have our partners, Ashley Capital, Racer Trust, our state legislators, Senator Cherry, State Representative Cynthia Neely, our city council person, Quincy Murphy, and others, prayer, planning, and partnership, celebrating the dreamer. This is a great announcement for this region inside the city of Flint as we continue to try to grow Michigan and grow our city, making it a destination location in our country. This is celebrating the dreamer. You know, as we pulled up today, you know, and I was with my friend, uh, Congressman Kildee, and he saw the sandy beaches of Ashley Capitol here. Uh, he grabbed his sandwich. I said, no, not, not today, Dan. You know, we're not playing it today. But it's through the level of partnership from our philanthropic partners, Mott Foundation, to our governmental partners, the state of Michigan, the county, and the city of Flint. We have to work together and be stronger for our children and the next generation. Today's announcement, over the years announcement of this investment, is investing in our families. I grew up an eighth of a mile away from this location, to the site that Lair Barron for two decades. Now this can be the lighthouse of hope for the northern portions of our city, down the poverty corridor of Genesee County. This is a great day for our families. Give yourself a round of applause. I said this earlier, what defines us is how we rise. And we're doing a fantastic job. Thank you, Ashley Capital. And am I introducing the next person? My, my note said it. L L okay, all right. Bringing up Elliot Laws from Ashley Capital, trustee. Thank you for coming here. Come on up, I, I was just following my notes. All right. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Neely, and thank you, Susan and Rick, for allowing Racer to be a part of this tremendous day. This is obviously a great day for the state of Michigan, the city of Flint and its residents, and for Racer Trust. Today we continue the redevelopment of the historic Buick City site that was begun by American Spiral Weld back in 2014 and continued by Lear Corporation in 2017. Their success proved that the city of Flint is open for business and that Buick City is ready for new investment. Over the years, Racer has worked tirelessly with the state of Michigan to address environmental impacts and prepare for site redevelopment. I want to thank you, Governor Whitmer, for your support and for the support of the Michigan agencies, which have been so crucial to us getting to this point today. With Ashley Capital, you have an experienced and successful developer. And we've previously worked with Susan and her team uh, to when they redeveloped uh, former racer properties down in Livonia. And if you'd like to see an example of what you can expect to see here, just go down there and look at the uh, Livonia West Commerce Center, which is now fully leased 
and is providing full-time jobs for over 1,750 people. A project of this magnitude doesn't come easily. Uh, there's a lot of public and private support that's necessary. And I also would like to thank Mayor uh, Neely and his team, the Flint City Council members that are here, the Genesee County Board of Commissioners, the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation, and the Flint and Genesee Economic Alliance and its Executive Director, Tyler Ross Messler, who has worked tirelessly with us over the years to get to this point. This was the type of result that was envisioned when Waster Trust was formed in 2011 at the end of the GM bankruptcy. And we're going to continue to do our part to address environmental conditions at this site. Again, thank you for allowing us to be a part of this tremendous step forward for a very deserving community. It's now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. Ridgeway White has served as president and CEO of the Charles Stewart Mott uh, Foundation since 2015. Soon after he became president, Mott committed to invest up to $100 million in Flint over five years. And that was fulfilled in just over four years and has been succeeded. He's an ardent believer in the power of community foundations to be local leaders of positive change and puts that belief to work every day in service to the Flint community. And this includes a significant investment for this project as well. It's this type of public spirited commitment to and partnership with all levels of government that has helped make today possible. Ridgeway. This is great. It's amazing to celebrate this Commerce Center here. For so long, uh, this site has been, basically my entire life has been, been vacant. So, not to, to dwell on history, but in 1963, Flint was bigger than Houston, Texas. Hard to believe. For too long in Flint, we sat on our laurels, too long in Michigan. But no more. No more. I talked with the governor, with the MEDC, with the city, with the county, I sit on the DRP board, and there's so much action happening right now to move things forward. Legislation, all different things, are, everybody's moving in the right direction to push Michigan forward on a path to economic prosperity for this region and for Flint. But we found that it takes a new model. And today we're celebrating this model with Ashley Capital. Public-private partnerships. It takes a lot to turn the tide, and it doesn't happen overnight. But it takes calculated investments, and it requires risk capital. In this case, the site was far from ready. The Michigan Strategic Fund came up with $8.5 million. Genesee County and the city of Flint each put in $3.5 million, and the Mott Foundation was happy to close the gap out with $2 million. Thank you, Ashley Capital, for seeing what's possible in our city. A workforce that is eager to prove that our best days are not in the past. The CS Mott Foundation is happy to play, this, play a role in this project, and we wish Ashley Capital the best in this endeavor. Thank you. And I'm happy to, uh, thank you, I'm happy to introduce Senator John Cherry. Oh, this is a very exciting day. Um, like, well, first, projects like this do not happen with one individual or just a few individuals. It takes a whole community to come together to make things like this happen. And that's everybody here. So I want to say thank you to all of you for the work that you put in on this groundbreaking today. Thank you. Give yourselves a hand. Like the Congressman, I have a personal connection and memory from Buick City. When I was young, there's a building over on the other side of 475 there, used to be called Lowell, Lowell Elementary. I remember going to school there, and up on the third floor we had art, and every day we looked down on this site that employed over 20,000 people, between 20 and 30,000 people. I have a painting. We had to do a landscape painting, and it was of Buick City. And as you can imagine, there's a giant blue powerhouse that's right in the middle of that. You all remember it. And so that was the memory of my childhood in, in elementary school. And of course, going back 475 every day, 
I remember when everything essentially turned into concrete and then turned into trees. And the exciting thing for me is that my six-year-old daughter and my 10-month-old son, their memory of this site is seeing a flat, unusable space turned into something that is productive for our community and that has helped build our community. Their narrative that they're going to see of their community is substantially different than the narrative that my generation saw of our community. And that is meaningful in ways that you can't quantify with the, the number of dollars that we've invested in the community. And so from a personal level and from all the families in Flint who are going to feel this impact both financially, emotionally, and psychologically, thank you to everybody here, particularly Ashley Capital, and thank you to the governor for your focus on developing Michigan's economy. It's needed. Thank you. And I'll just say one additional piece about why I'm so excited about this particular development and, and about Ashley Capital. You know, when the idea of, of Ashley Capital coming into Flint was posed, I had no idea who Ashley Capital was. They're kind of, they're, they're a powerhouse that, that's not out front on a lot of stuff. And as I learned about them and I learned their business model, what I realized for our community, instead of having one business that's, manu that, that's manufacturing something that owns a site, we're going to have a business whose job is to make sure businesses are here, right? So if a manufacturer you know, goes bankrupt or moves to a different location, Ashley Capital is still going to be here. And they're going to have an interest in making sure there's another, another manufacturer or another business that is located here. And so the exciting thing for me is we're not going to see a repeat of what happened in this site 20 years ago. And so to the folks at Ashley, thank you for being partners with our community. I'm looking forward to it to being a long and fruitful partnership for everybody. And let's just get to work and get the rest of this uh, 300 acres uh, <laughs> under construction. Thank you. Well, thank you for those nice remarks. Um, another important person in this process, we met really early on when we started thinking about developing on Buick City, uh, and that's Tyler Rasmu. I always say Ross. <laughs> he's going to say his last name when he comes up. <laughs> and he's uh, with the Genesee County Economic Alliance. Come on up, Tyler. When I got engaged, my grandma said, tell her it's three syllables, <laughs> Ross Messler. No, I want to have Cynthia Neely give, provide a quick remark, and then I'll, then I'll you go. take over. All right. Thank you. As you guys know, I am State Representative Cynthia Neely, and I represented this 70 district, this community right here, which, which we are standing in. I am just so happy and excited that this project is happening. A lot of people on the north end of Flint wanted to see development here. And look, we got it. We got it. We got it from all the great leaders that you see sitting on this front row that all came together, working together to make sure that we get what we needed. And I'm just so happy to be a part of this. Thank you, Ashley Capital, for bringing this investment here. The community here in Flint, we are so excited. This is something we wanted, and it, it happened today. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, my name's Tyler Ross Messler. Um, I just want to say a few quick things. Number one, thank you. Thank you to Ashley Capital, Susan, and, and Rick, and Mark, and your whole team. Thanks for taking an investment and uh, taking a risk on us. I want to talk about Representative Kildee's through line. This is uh, the, one of the cufflinks my grandfather got when he retired from, Bu from Buick. Uh, 40 years ago, and um, it's meaningful to my family. Like, like many of us, this site is very historically important and, uh, and meaningful to our families. So thank you for that. We at the Flint Genesee Economic Alliance, we talk a lot about what opportunity looks like, and this is what opportunity looks like. It looks like a brownfield on the north end of Flint, and it takes creativity to recognize that, and that's what the Ashley Capital team has done. 
And so we are, th we are thankful for that. We are excited for the hundreds of acres to be redeveloped. We are excited for the new jobs and businesses that will move to town. And perhaps most importantly, uh, the redevelopment creates a new narrative for this neighborhood, not as a, this site's no longer a representative of what once was, but it plays an important role of what's coming. And I'm excited for that. So with that, turn it back to you, Susan, and thanks everyone. Uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody, for being here. Uh, I also want to mention a really important partner in this. Oliver Hatcher Construction uh, is doing all of the, the construction for this site, and they have built buildings for Ashley Capital for 30 years. Um, Paul Oliver and Paul Hatcher are here, and uh, they will be here. This is a long-term project, and Oliver Hatcher will be around for a very long time. Um, again, I just want to thank all of the people that are here, all of the people that aren't here that have played an important role in this. We are very much looking forward to the grand opening celebration for this first building. And thank you for coming.